let me ask you a question, okay? Why do you think YouTube content creators would all of a sudden be freaking out at YouTube right now and saying, uh-oh, everything's getting demonetized? I'll tell you why. Because the kind of content creator that's complaining is the kind of content creator that sits around and puts out one or two videos a day tops. I hate to, to say it. It's not high effort work. All right? I'm not saying it's not popular. I'm just telling you it's not high effort work. When all you're doing is you're sitting around, you put out two videos a day, and then you do a stream for an hour. That's not a day of work. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. YouTube's new community guidelines just dropped, and they are stringent. I am not essing around. That's right. See, I'm not really worried because I've used YouTube like this for the past two years. So you could say that I've been beta testing these community guidelines for a very long time. And everybody used to sit there and go, ha, 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 ha. YouTube's messing with Gundam. It was a huge joke. It was almost as if it was part of my brand to be completely screwed by the system. And now, lo and behold, everyone else is going to get a taste of it. I was the canary in the coal mine chirping my little head off. And nobody gave a single rat's ass. Well, now the chickens have come home to roost. And guess what? YouTube fun is no longer allowed. You better not talk about drugs or else you're in trouble. You might be able to play video games with drug paraphernalia, but I'm not a thousand percent sure on that. Cursing within 8 seconds, game over. This isn't new for me. Hell, they won't even let me curse within 8 minutes. Penguin Zero got nailed in 5, and I thought, Hmm, how does it taste, Mr. Man? <laughs> Everyone loves you. Now you got a little bit of the Gundam treatment. Where everything you do would suffer scrutiny. If you fart wrong, Susan Wojcinski's gonna get a whiff and beat you over the head with the demonetization button. This site is so lame, I can't even describe it to you. YouTube runs itself like the current administration. I don't know about you, but I'm not living my best life right now. What else can't you do on this damn site? Uh, sensual dancing is okay if you're a woman, but if you're a guy making fun of a Twitch girl, don't even bother. Oh, you can't show buttocks. That's another one. Like, if, if YouTube even sees the side of your butt cheek, it's over. That's why butt cheek Sonic is gone. <laughs> uh, you can't show dead bodies, which I guess would be a no brainer. I don't even know if you can show dead bodies in a video game, bro. If a game's too gory, if you're playing a horror game, forget it, done, demonetized. Oh, you want to say something funny? No, can't do that either. Don't make fun of certain politicians. The only one you can get away with is making fun of Trump. Always remember, orange man bad. Everybody else is a paragon of human virtue. I'm going to tell you why I support President Trump. He is a problem solver. In fact, I'm amazed of his genius. Don't you dare talk about ALC's movie only making $8 million at the box office, you little bigot. I don't even know what to tell you. For me, I'm looking at this TOS and like I've already been dealing with this for a long, long time. And now everybody else is getting a taste and they're freaking the hell out. And frankly, well, you know, maybe we should have band together, but nobody does that. YouTube and content creation is a lot like trying to survive World War II Germany. Remember those, uh, the, the, the poem? When they came for the gypsies, I said nothing. They came for the gays, I said nothing. They came for it's a Gundam, I said nothing. They came for the Jews, I said nothing. And now they come for me, and there's no one to speak up for me. That's YouTube right now. Hope you like it, because it's here to stay. Good Lord. Can you believe this site? Like, the thing says these are policies put in place to help advertisers. For real, bro? You mean I need to be more careful for the Animal Love Quest phone game? Really? The not safe for work game? I need to be on my P's and Q's? Or, or else you can't get no fox booty? Also, you can't talk too much about sex. That's a no-no. I don't even think you can, like, look at animals. <laughs> On Animal Planet mating, that's another dangerous one. This site's absolutely ridiculous. 
but I bet you dollars to donuts, you'll still be able to find those naked yoga videos all day long. God, remember the old days of YouTube? Remember the Tourette's guy? We're never going to have that again. We're never going to have that sort of edgy, funny humor that you would see on Comedy Central or something. Those days are gone. They want you to be your true, authentic self as long as they can control who the hell you are. That's fine. Jesus Christ. They're fine with you if you're black as long as you're a stereotype or you roll around like Will Smith. If you walk in like Malcolm X, they're going to cut your head off. There's some other ones like enabling dishonor, dishonest behavior. And it's like, well, how can we even have a community guideline for that when the whole site runs on dishonest behavior? YouTube puts out TOS changes and don't tell people anything till it hits. YouTube has a blacklist. They call it the do not recommend list or some crap like that. This site lives on dishonesty. Hell, they take money from companies that are dishonest. But whoa, you at home. You better not be dishonest, little mister. Don't you dare put something out that we think is bad faith. And what the hell is that? Whatever they deem it to be. Sounds like a dictatorship to me. But don't say too much or you disappear. You know, for all the crap that's gone on, you think you two would do something better for content creators in general. Let's take a look at, like, uh, copyrights and whatnot. For years, people have used that to dox people. People have used it to steal money. Literally, if you do anything on Berserk and use like the 90s Berserk music, guess what? There's a dude who's a copyright troll pretending to be the composer using a cheap ass third party site to, to take people's ad revenue. And YouTube has done F all about it. Stuff that should be done to protect people. You know, it's like they don't care if we get roasted in the flames. And that's why this site sucks. Oh, well, it's the new YouTube going forward. I personally believe that this is also on a deeper level to sort of cut down how many people they have to pay with ad revenue because this year is probably going to be a real bad year for content creation across the board. It's going to be a bad year for all venture capital, tech giants, etc. because the ad dollars aren't there. We're in a recession and I could elaborate on why we're there. But then that would probably put me into the spectrum of political BS and us getting in trouble. I should say me, not us. You guys would be fine. It's me. They'll be beat with a stick. So the move is to try and demonetize as many people as possible. Rather than, I don't know, probably letting people be more creative and making a better platform. 